Now we're going to take a look at the element template that we have selected for the feature symbology for terrain. So we'll bring up our dialog. We'll go to the terrain category and look at the existing boundary. So you'll notice that the element templates for terrains have more categories than a normal template. We have general settings tab where we would set our level, color, line, style, weight, and class, and transparency. And your general settings is going to be apparent to the other settings in other setting categories that we have. So we have a calculated feature display that will display the calculated features within the train, such as contours, triangles, triangle vertices, flow arrows, and low points and high points. And we can have different terrain models to display different things as the calculated feature displays. So if we want to turn those on, we could do turn those on. If we look at the existing course, the contours is turned on, but it is a different element template. So we should set up a number of different element templates to display the different calculated features that we wanted to see. But moving back to the existing boundary, we have calculated feature settings. This will set the parameters for the contours, triangles, triangle vertices, flow hours, low points, and high points. And if we remember, these will be a child to the parent. So they will have different levels. So if we look at our contours, we will have minor contours and major contours. We can set the parameters for those contours of how we want everything to be displayed. So it looks like this has five foot majors and one foot minors, but then our minor contours have different color, line style, and weight, and a level than our general settings of our parent terrain. So the levels E, underbar terrain, underbar contour minor. And we can set a text style on everything at this level in the calculated feature settings. If we look at our major contours, it's set the same way. So it's going to be different than our general settings of the parent. So that's one thing to keep in mind that these different settings for the element template are a parent-child relationship. And then we have a source feature display. That's going to control the boundary. So for this example, this Boundary is turned on, so it will always be turned on. We'll use this element template, and that's the only thing that's going to be displayed. We could set up other element templates to display the source features. And lastly, the source feature settings. We'll go into more detail of the different categories of another child to the parent. So how we want break line, boundaries, and imported contours to be displayed. So these all have different settings and can be displayed differently than the parent that is element templates for terrains.